Welcome back everyone. We're going to continue on with our D4 here. And from what we've found in the cylinders here, I think we just need to pull the whole engine, which was kind of the plan anyway. But next up we are going to pull the radiator off the front here, which means we are going to need to pull all of these bolts inside and out here. And then there is a lower steel radiator hose, a radiator line down there. We'll have to get that out of there too. And we'll get this whole radiator assembly out of the way. Okay, with the radiator supported off these top bolts here, we can start by removing this top oil line. See if we can get this fitting apart here. And then on the bottom, we'll try and pull that fitting there. And see, I already did go around and just make sure I can get them loose and all of them did break loose on both sides. So main thing is these oil lines, if we can get them to come loose. Otherwise, we can try it back here. We'll see how it goes. So I got the inch and an eighth wrench out. I was able to get this one broke loose here. They did not want to come at the radiator. So we'll take them here for now and bring it all as one unit. I can separate them later. Try the inside one next. All right, I'm having a tough time getting to that back one, especially with that stick in there. So that's my solution for the stick, not the line. We're not cutting the oil line. There, that whole thing has been stuck in there since I brought this home. You need to say hi, both of you, needy. You can see it did come up through the track. It actually came up through this idler, went through this, through the chain here of the track, up through the pad, and the other one came right up through these oil lines. But now that that's out of there, I should be able to get a wrench on this, no problem. And just like that, we got it broke loose. And it's coming out. And there we go. So with those oil cooler lines off, we can move up to these front bolts. They're half inch bolt, three quarter head. And we'll have to grab that hose on the other side there, that lower hose. Comes up the bottom of the water pump here. We'll get them bolts off, get these bolts off, and pull the whole radiator out. Well, if you can see down in there, you can get a ratchet on these, so it's not too bad. Both of them broke loose. No problems there. So we'll get these two out, and then onto the main mounting bolts. I left one bolt in each side. We'll get a little tension up on this chain just to make sure that this isn't going to try and rock back and forth one way or the other. I also got to try and feed these oil lines down and around here once we actually do get it loose. So it'll kind of be a slow process, but we'll keep going. All right, with the radiator kind of pushed over to this side, should be able to just snake them lines around there. And then pull the whole works back. Well, we're looking at the front of a D4. D4-D400 looks like a mouse at one time made a nest in there.
we'll keep going. I'll probably pull just from some of the front accessories just to get rid of them. Uh, maybe pull that fuel tower off. And then I think we'll have to start working back into here. I'll clean all this up, get it organized, boxed up. It'll be a while before we get back to that. All these fuel injection lines, injector hold downs. But I think we're going to end up pulling tin work next. Then probably pony motor, main motor. Just keep disassembling. Over here at the radiator, we got more work to do, I see. Shroud is showing its age for sure. That's not the end of the world. We can make something work there. And like I said, I was not able to get these lines to even budge at all. So I might have to maybe throw just a little heat to them, we'll see. I know these are a, a soldered fitting. And I hate to get too carried away with them and make them worse than they are. We'll see what I come up with. Well guys, thanks for watching. We'll keep after it. Stay tuned.